Bowman here from BW1.com, and we got a slew of news coming out of Google I.O.'s press conference today. Let's go to some of the big details that came out of it. First thing is the music service. The music streaming service comes from Google called Music Beta by Google. Now, right now, it's just an invitation-only service, but what the service is going to allow you to do is upload up to 20,000 songs to it, and you'll be able to stream it from pretty much anywhere you are as long as you have internet connection via cloud-based services. You'll be able to stream it from, stream it from the web, be able to stream it from your Android phone, and your Android tablet as well, too. This is really, really cool that's, it. that's coming from this service, and it's free if you get invited into the beta, so you can go to music.google com right now you can sign up to request an invitation to get in and if you get in the service will be free from that from that point I guess until it comes out of beta and they'll kind of decide what they want to do from there but what you can grab right now is a new music player that's available for Android it's Android 2.2 and above and that is definitely a lot better than the original app that you see that you usually get with Android it's kind of similar to what you've seen on the uh, Motorola Zoom tablet but it's optimized for the phone Kind of, can, kind of can go this way to swipe through, and if we want to, we can rotate like this. And let's go to recent, and you can see there you get the nice, cool, like 3D scroll gallery. Let's kind of go back one there. Kind of show you how it works here. As you can see there, you can kind of scroll through. What we're used to seeing, if you want to play a song, let's tap on it. Let's say we want to play Rihanna. What's my name? That's a pretty good song. So it's playing just like that. It works in landscape. It works in portion mode just like that. And we are definitely going to get you a full review of this app when we get invited to the music streaming service. And once that's live for us, we will definitely um, do a full review of the music app. But you can download that right now. It's available for Android 2.2 devices and above. So just grab that right away because it's a lot better than the standard app that's available. All right, the next thing that's available is Android 3.1. That's going to be rolling out to all Verizon users right now, Verizon Zoom users right now. That update's going to bring updates to the task manager so it'll automatically close out applications that are not being used. That should save a lot on battery life. And, and you're going to be able to uh, resize your widgets as you want to. So you can just pretty much uh, kind of tap and kind of uh, zoom in and out to get the widget to the perfect size that you want it to get it to. You can, you know, make it vertical or horizontal, whichever way you want it to do. Pretty nifty tr trick there. The next cool thing, which I think is really going to be valuable, is a USB host capability. So you're going to be able to plug in your camera directly into your Android tablet, and you can be able to import your files right import your files and your pictures right to the Android tablet. That is really going to be useful. And he also did a demonstration using an Xbox controller to play a game. So that's going to be pretty interesting too when that, when that kind of fully gets rolled out. And it's going out to Verizon Zoom users right now. You got to figure out and it's going to be in stage releases for other Android 3.0 tablets. Um, the other big thing is Android 2.4 Ice Cream Sandwich has been officially announced and officially named with a new logo. And this is, this is bringing the, the sort of the Fragment UI um, sort of um, ideas that you were hearing from, from Google before, holographic UI, rich, rich um, widgets and all sorts of things like that. And it's designed to pretty much be one Android OS that's going to work on all devices. So it should be able to work not only on a phone, but also work on a tablet and also work on your uh, on a like a, a convertible laptop or a regular laptop or something like that too so this, this they're looking to really just kind of make one OS just to rule them all for for Android to just work on everything which should make it a lot easier on developers it's going to be released in um, quarter four the um, the one thing that we do we did see as far as a demo of it is sort of the uh, head tracking technology it kind of showed a demo of that sort of how the head tracking kind of works there too and you can use different little applications can I distort faces and stuff like that yeah, that, that, that seems pretty cool. One, one practical use for it is that they, that they had a camera operator and there's two people talking during sort of this press conference and the uh, app is able to tell who's talking and who isn't talking. So when one person's talking, the camera turns to that person and when the camera, when that person stops talking, the other person talks, it'll pan over to that person. So that is pretty useful to see as well like too. That. But those are the big three things that came out of it. So let me know what you think about Google I.O. and what came out of it and what did you want to hear and what you like hearing and what you want to hear rather that came out of it. So post a comment below here on this post, post a video response, post a response here on YouTube, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, whichever way you want to start the discussion, just start it up. Let me know your thoughts. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page, and all the links to all those social media sites will be in the description. And always remember to live your tech world and hi.
definition.